the FIA Formula 3 European Championship is my biggest part of my career, I would say. You know, that's where I sort of learned everything and most of my memories come from there. So, yeah, it was a great time, you know, it was almost like my family, the championship, and uh, yeah, I, I have more than enough of memories from there. So. Well, I think you learn a lot in Formula 3. I mean, first of all, the technical side is very high level. I would say something similar to Formula E or DTM or maybe even not Formula 1, but I think, you know, under Formula 1, Formula 3 is very high level. And uh, I think that's very good for the driver. You learn how to cope with the technical stuff and the, the engineers in, in a different way than any other championship. Then obviously I think the way you drive a Formula 3 car it requires a lot of precision and if you, can handle, if you can handle that car you can be quick in almost every car for sure. I had a kind of weak year 2014 when Esteban Ocon won. But I think he was probably the most impressive for me. You know, he came in as a rookie and he, he just blew everyone away. Even Max Verstappen, who did really well that year, couldn't, couldn't beat him. So I think, uh, yeah, Esteban really showed a high level of maturity and, and talent that year. Well, I mean, first of all, this year was very different from all my other years because normally I, I focus on only one series. And, uh, you know, it was that time I, I left Formula 3 and I, I had opportunity to, to sort of discover a bit of everything, starting off the year with being reserve driver in DTM and then uh, and also doing a Blanc Pen uh, sprint series in GT. And, and then as the year went by, I just got opportunities to join other series and I think it's been great, you know, I've been learning a lot of new stuff. I think every time I jump into a different car, I learn something and uh, yeah, it's something that really, I, if I look at myself now compared to last year, for sure I'm a lot stronger as a driver. Yes, for sure. I mean, the, the experience I got there, I think even after one or two seasons, you, you are more or less ready for anything. And then maybe I was there a bit too long time and I should have used that time to, to do something else. But, but still, I mean, being in Formula 3, even for five years, is you always learn something and, and, and it's, it can only be good for you. If, if you are quick in Formula 3, you find most cars easy to drive because Formula 3 is very difficult to, to get extract the most out of the car because the car is normally better than the driver, I would say. And to most of the other series to come, the, the, it's sort of the opposite, you know, the, the, the setup of the car becomes more important and, and it's easier to, to find a lap time. So I, I found, I mean, every car is different. For example, Formula E is very different to, to a lot of cars, but somehow you, you always find a way. And if you reflect back to what you learned in F3, you can normally, normally find, find a way to go quick in any car. You know, every year is different and every driver has a different scenario. I mean, obviously as a young driver you have to bring budget to, to drive and I think my, my best option was always Formula 3 because, I mean, looking at GP2, GP3 could be an option but I never really had the contact, I never really had the budget to go there and in the end I think F3 is at this, operating at the same level in, in terms of drivers and in terms of technical level so I just found it stupid to to not to do to do something else and also that I always had a link with uh, Mercedes-Benz and they are not operational in, in other series than Formula 3 so it made sense for me.